Good morning everyone! For some reason it feels really like wintry this morning and it's really reminding me of Vlogmas which is getting me so excited because I am doing Vlogmas this year. Um, anyway, I am at the moment in a place called Warrington which is up north and I'm taking part in this incredible, incredible day, part of a week actually to be honest, with Stand Up To Cancer. Basically what they're doing is five days of canoeing, so rowing from Chester all the way to Liverpool which is a very, very long way. And um, they've got these five incredible cancer survivors that are rowing every single day for five days. And I'm basically just coming in for one day to help out. I'm going to be rowing from Warrington to Manchester today. In fact, I'm only um, doing this until lunchtime. So I feel like I'm doing a half marathon. So I am rowing a half marathon today with these incredible people. So we're all basically doing this. We're all rowing to raise lots and lots of money to go towards the funding of cancer research which is all for an amazing cause the only thing is I have never ever rowed before the most I've ever done is probably go on a rowing machine in the gym for about 10 minutes that's the absolute most actually five minutes let's be honest so I've never even been in a canoe and um, yeah I'm rowing a half marathon today <laughs> so this could be really really interesting I'm looking forward to it though I think it'll be fun I've been given all of our stand up to cancer kits we've also got waterproofs we've been told how, what to do what we need in the boat with us we've got like um, bags that can go in with us so we can grab all of our stuff um, so like my camera and you know bits and bobs like that so that's good I'm a little bit nervous as well to be honest but these people that I'm doing it with they've been doing this for three days now and they're doing five so I can hardly complain. So this is our breakfast that we have to choose from today. I'm definitely going to get some watermelon. Um, I've just asked for some porridge because I feel like that's going to really fuel me up. Um, some porridge just made with some soy milk. I'm going to have some grapefruit juice as well. Or is that orange juice? Maybe orange. No, I'm going to go with grapefruit. There we go. Porridge time. Look at all of these snacks that are ready. I'm going to stock up, put them in my big yellow bag. There we go. That's why he's wearing the hat. So this is all of the crew. We're just all gathering outside on the terrace of a pub at the moment. Oh, that was not the best time to start filming. But yeah, we're just at the pub, waiting to get in the canoe. And here we go. Well, I'm guessing that's not what we're in. <laughs> I think they're just the like safety boats. I don't know where we are. London Bridge, Canal Side Terrace. That's not too bad, is it? <laughs> I think so. Shut the front. Yeah, there we go. Ready. Sure. Not my bag. Looking this way. Lovely. And if you open your oars up as well. That's it. A little bit more meaning. There we go. <laughs> Everyone just raised it a tiny bit higher. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the canoes. Ah, we're about to get in. It's actually, I think it's harder than I was expecting. My arms are actually killing right now, but um, we're doing well. We've got good pace. I'm here with David. Say hi. Oh, he's eating a banana. <laughs> there he is. We can find out his story a little bit later, but I feel like we're a good team. We're doing well, I think. Yeah. We were first for about 30 seconds. We were. We were. Sam's claiming that he was first the whole time. That's a lie. We definitely overtook you. <laughs> we overtook you for about 30 seconds. We did. You're doing well. So yeah, we'll see how the rest goes. So we just stopped off for our first break and believe it or not, David and I came first 
by quite a while actually so Sam didn't catch up which he's not very happy about right now <laughs> but um, I don't know how Dave and I actually caught up we did pretty well there was a point where people were cheering and I think everyone thought that we were stopping there so the canoes stopped and that obviously held them up a lot whereas Dave and I just like kept going which we were meant to do luckily we knew to just like just keep going just keep going um, but yeah we've just stopped off for about 10-15 minutes here get some snacks um, get hydrated and then we're gonna hit the road again hit the canal again and um, keep going so so far I think we've done about six and a half miles and I've got another six and a half miles to go but the other guys because they're going on for the whole day have got about 15 more miles to go How did it go? Yeah, it went really well. I'm all done now for the day, but yeah, the first half, Dave and I came first. Not that it was a competition or anything, but pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> and, and what do you think of the fact that David has it now to do? He's just done this is a few Yeah. Um, I think these guys have got two and a half more days to go. I mean, I'm exhausted and I've only done a half day, so I can only imagine how they're feeling. And after two full days of doing it, I don't even know how they managed to get back in that canoe this morning, but they're doing so, so well. I'm really, really impressed. So we've just completed the first half of the afternoon. I think we were the best. We actually were. We, we came were first. Twice we came first. We were first. good pair in that <laughs> canoe. I'm actually really surprised myself. I just wanted um, to ask you, David, why you are doing this for Stand Up to Cancer. So obviously five years ago, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it's just been about raising more funds and more awareness to help this great organization yeah. to hopefully save some more lives it's amazing mm -hmm. i think it's amazing what you're doing and i can't believe you're doing five days as well you so still came You've i know i've so done a half fish. day which is nothing on that but i'm so so impressed it's well, amazing let's try and raise as much money as we possibly can yes yeah, here we go this is it this is what we need so you need to to donate 10 pounds you've got to text canoe 10 Two seven zero four zero four. There we go. That was perfect. Good timing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back home now. We got the train from Manchester back to London, um, which was actually so easy. Like it's so much closer than I always thought it was. My arms are beginning to ache. It was actually quite tough. Um, I don't know how long I was like solidly rowing for or like canoeing. I know ro rowing and canoeing is very different and I keep kind of mixing it up. Um, <laughs> but I think it was quite a long time and considering I've never done it before, I think I definitely was using muscles that I've never used. Um, I really enjoyed it though, to be honest. I really, really enjoyed it. The only really like tough thing that we had today was that the wind was against us. I obviously don't know any different because I haven't been doing it the last two days. But the other guys that started on Monday were obviously like, okay, the wind was not like this yesterday and the day before. This is quite tough. There was one point where we were all like going along, like had a rhythm, it was all great. And then this huge gust of wind came and just blew us all over to the other side. We're like trying to go as fast as we can to get out of it. And we're just like not moving. We're just stationary like, oh, come on. So that was really really tough but I'm just so so happy to be part of it and um, an absolute honour to be asked by Stand Up To Cancer to get involved and also so so proud of the four that are cancer survivors or have been affected by cancer in some way or another that somehow are doing this five day challenge I mean I just can't believe it. It's just all for such a brilliant cause to raise awareness, raise some money, to help beat cancer. That's what all of this is about. Just, we need to find a cure and 
unfortunately it's the money that is um, needed so that's why we're all doing this and hopefully you guys can donate as much or as little as you can as you saw on David's Fest there are all of the details. I'll leave everything in the description box as well for you. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And um, I actually haven't seen the footage because it was filmed by other people in boats around me. So I have no idea what this video is like. I probably look absolutely horrendous and look like I'm really struggling. So I'm sure you got some laughs out of that. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.